Hey guys, Lomo here, back again with another video. And if you're involved in this tech community, you've probably seen skins. Now, skins are literally everywhere. I see them on my timeline about 20 times a day, and it kind of gets annoying, but I've never tried one out. I'm more of a traditional case user, so I just use cases for all my things. But when I saw that dbrand drop some skins for the ATH M50s and the M50X, I thought that it would be a perfect opportunity to try some skins. So I ordered some for my ATH M50s, and this is how they turned out. So this is how they turned out. My original ATH M50s were all red, but then I added three layers of all white carbon fiber to them. So I like to call these the reds, with a W, cause red and then red are red. Get it? Nope. Anyway, as I said before, this was my first time applying a skin to anything, and I've gotta say that the installation process was very tedious to me. However, you should keep in mind that I'm the kind of person who can't even apply a screen protector to a cell phone without asking for any help, so the process time will definitely vary from person to person. But for me, this took around 45 minutes to an hour just to apply a few layers of paper. Even though the process was long and annoying for me, I will still say that it does look pretty nice. Mine isn't 100% accurate and it still does look pretty sick and separates the regular red ATH M50s from the rest. Now I do recommend going to dbrand.com slash howto if you are a beginner skin user like me to see how that you can uh, apply your own purchase skin for your personal device. If there's anything bad that I'd have to say about this skin, it wouldn't even be about the skin itself. It's just that the instructions for the inner ring logo weren't as clear as I would have liked them to be. Dbrand tells you to inject the skin into the logo, and when I first saw it, I was like, what the f***? And I actually had to ask a couple of people how to do it. But once I figured it out, I realized that it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Wrapping things up, I can say that I had a more positive experience with a dbrand skin than I thought I would. The installation was tedious and long and I definitely did have some errors along the way of applying this. However, I feel like with the experience that I have now, if I tried it again, then it wouldn't take so long and the skin would look twice as better. And overall, I can totally recommend skins for anybody who's looking to separate their device from the mainstream crowd, especially because they aren't as expensive as I thought they would be. And I'll leave a link to dbrand's website if anyone is interested in picking up a skin for their own personal use. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like down below and also uh, drop some comments down below on how you think the skins turned out or if you have any feedback or any questions. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter because I'm pretty active on there and I post a lot of things. Well, with that being said guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.